In this video, I'm gonna go over a really cool new feature in Google Sheets, and that's the ability to save and share filtered views. Now, before we jump in, if you're finding these tutorials and tips helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, and make sure to enable notifications so you never miss another video. So in this example here, I've got a table of stocks in the NASDAQ 100. I've got their stock prices and the percent changes. So let's say I just wanna look at the stocks that are up at least 1% or more today. And so I've got that here with this change percent uh, field from the Google Finance function, and I'm gonna filter this view. So I'm gonna select my headers, click on the filter button, and then select filter by condition greater than one, so more than 1%. So these are the stocks that are up more than 1%. So what I can do is go to the data menu, select save as a filter view, and I'm gonna say up more than 1%, and I'm gonna save it. What I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna share this sheet just to say anyone can access it. I'm not gonna copy this link, that's not what I want. And now what I'm going to do is exit out of this view. Actually, before I do that, what I'm going to do is on the data menu, go under view options and get the link to this view and click on that. And now that link is copied to my clipboard. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit out of this view, remove that filter. And so now I'm looking at the entire data set unfiltered. Now I'm going to open up another window and paste that link into there. So here I've got a new incognito window. I'm not signed in. And so I'm just gonna paste that URL in there, the one that I copied. And so when it does that, you can see it automatically applies that filter. Initially it did show everything, but then it applied that filtered view. So the really cool thing about this is that, you know, if you're, if you're sharing a link to your spreadsheet, you know, whether you're sending it to yourself or somebody else, you can apply those filters and they can be more complex than this because you can save, save filters in Google Sheets. If you wanna set it on multiple criteria, you can do that. And just by saving that, that, that link to that specific filtered view, you can easily access it by just clicking that link or having someone click on that. They can see a snapshot of that, that specific view. And that you can see here on my original uh, browser window, I still have my list that's been unfiltered. If I click back on here, you know, it's still as if I, I'm seeing the data in its entirety. It's not be, being filtered, but the link that I sent to somebody that has my filter view. So there's automatically being uh, seeing that filtered view. The key thing is you just want to make sure that you're sharing your spreadsheet so that it's visible and, and shareable to, to anyone who you want to share it with. And then when you've got your view created, go on that data tab. So you can change the view, you can create more views if you want, and they can be as complex as you want. And then once you're in this view, on the data menu, under view options, select that option to get link to that view. And then it'll save that link to your clipboard. And then you can share that either with yourself or, or save that so you can access it at a later point or give it to somebody else if you wanna share that with someone else. That makes it a whole lot easier as opposed to sharing the link to the entire spreadsheet and then having to reapply filters, especially if you've got multiple rules set up or multiple conditions that you wanna look through. So a really cool new feature in Google Sheets. If you like this video, please make sure to leave a like and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.